Greetings lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another What You Eat. Today, I'll be eating this Japanese candy. Nazu nazu neru neru. And I've done this once before. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in that one. This is a different flavor though. For those of you not familiar with neru neru ne, neru neru ne is a classic, in my book, a classic Japanese candy that requires mixing this kind of foamy stuff. And the thing that's different about this one is there are two different flavors, and then you mix the two flavors together, and it's supposed to make a mystery flavor. The last time I had it, it didn't really make a mystery flavor for me, so I'm kind of skeptical that it's going to work this time as well. At any rate, so the two flavors are green apple and pineapple, and you're supposed to mix them together, and it's supposed to make some new flavor. Um, there's my belly. Look, hi, baby. Baby's doing really well. I'm doing really well. We're happy. Get the... Okay, you get two spoons. One, two, three, four, five packets. Did you take off the little mixing spoon? So you put this one in first, the orange pineapple first. And you add that in. Level scoop. And mix. So it's kind of a green color. Kind of translucent kind of gel like. Then we add packet number two, whoa, and that one is white and more granular. Oh, and as we mix it, it's changing color and it's changing consistency too. It's getting a lot thicker and a lot foamier. And the consistency is kind of sticky. That's awesome. Look at this, isn't this amazing? We've come such a long way when it comes to food. So some of you may know if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook or on Twitter, that last week I went to New York City and I took the train. So I got myself, of course, an audiobook like I always do when I travel. The book that I ended up getting was Food, A Cultural Culinary History by Professor Kanabala. I just listened to the part where humans were hunter and gatherers and we've come a long way from hunting and gathering to this. This instant concoction from water to foam. So I got the lecture from audible.com. For those of you that don't know Audible, Audible is super great. They have over 150,000 different audiobooks that you can download onto your mobile device, onto your computer, onto anything really. So you can listen to, like me, when you're traveling. If you go to audible.com slash Emmy and you click there, you can get yourself a free book and you can support my channel. Thanks Audible for supporting my channel, I appreciate it. All right, let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. To the other side, the side with the star, we're going to add packet number one for the aoringo, which is the green apple. And we'll put that here. One level scoop of water. So it'll begin to stir. Ooh, and this one is yellow. Packet number two, dump that in. Ooh, that's a beautiful blue color. Again, it's granulated, more like sugar. And it's turning a great green color because when you mix yellow and blue, you make green. And again, it's nice and fluffy and stiff. That's awesome. It says topping. So that's just like sprinkles. Oh, cute. They're kind of pastel y sprinkles. Super cute. Blue pink sprinkles. All right, so here's the pineapple. Itadakimasu. Mmm, nice and tangy and very strong pineapple flavor. Really nice actually, pineapple crush, artificial pineapple flavor. And the little sprinkles on top are crunchy and maybe slightly fizzy. They're kind of tart and great. All right, let's try the Aoringo, the green apple. It smells apple -y. All right, let's give that a taste. Here we go, it smells. Mmm. Again, very sweet, very intensely flavored, tangy, and very apple-y. Pretty good. Kind of that sour green apple flavor. Yummy. We have equal parts green and yellow. And now let's mix them together and see what it tastes like. So the color, there's not much of a color change, and the consistency is pretty much the same. It just turns kind of a lighter green. I'll put my very first What You Eatin' video down below too, if you haven't seen that. I eat Neru Neru Ne for the first time, so yeah, it's old. <laughs> so I'll put that video down below if you want to see some classic at me. 
All right, so we mix the two, and now I'm going to add some sprinkles. Let's give that a taste. I don't know. I don't think I can discern a new flavor. To me, it tastes kind of like tropical, punchy. I feel like because I just had the green apple and the pineapple, I can kind of taste both flavors still. I still like the Concord artificial grape flavor best, but again, that's just my taste preference. Pineapple and green apple are okay. So that's Nuzu Nuzu Neru Neru. I bought this in Los Angeles when I was there last. I'm sure you can find it online. Don't forget to go to audible.com slash Emmy and click there and support my channel and get yourself a free audiobook. And yeah, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care. Bye. Some of you might be familiar with this. It sometimes comes in a plastic bottle and there's also a carbonated version which is called Calpus Soda. Um, this is the non-carbonated version. I've never actually had this. I saw it a lot in Japan. It was really popular in the summertime, but I never actually drank it. Dumping! <sighs>